let's try reverse direction. Ah, much better, much better. So, now the same here on the back. Let's select these here, then see what we're doing. I could get rid of the bottom. And do the same on the other side. So then we can right click and bridge. Nice. Now we should be able to harden these edges a bit. Alt C with a count of two. like so. Drop the two. Yes. Okay. Well, when I look at this, I see we have several problems. First of all, you know, it can't be closed here because there is a spring going, coming out, which uh, keeps the lid closed. So we must first fix this one. Uh, for that, I select these edges, <coughs> which go around the entire model, hit the backspace key, delete them. Then I select these polygons, this one and this one, and delete them as well. Now it's open and I can select these edges, deselect the top two, and now I can just bridge them together, edge, bridge, poof. And we can put in the uh, edges again, the ones I deleted at the beginning, like so, drop the two. Now, how does this look? That's better. I mean, it's closer to the original. But there is another problem now. If I go to the side view and I look at the backdrop item, you know, we have this geometry here and we need to integrate it with the rest and the problem is, let me get rid of this top view, that these edges are not straight. So we have to fix this one. I hope uh, symmetry is working on the set. So let me select all these edges here, hit the W key, move these out, about so. Select all these edges, W key, and once more, W key, and now it looks much better. Perspective. <coughs> uh, this is a bit 
thick. I will add in an edge here, old C, with a count of one, not three, one, like so. And then we need at least three edges in here, count of three, like here. And then I can uh, go to the side view. I should have done this before I mirrored, really. And look at the backdrop item. Go to basic, select a circle with maybe 12, 12 edges. Should be enough. Yes, 12. and make it 2.8 ok let's bevel it in B for bevel bevel that in shift click bevel it in again shift click and delete. OK. Now, perspective. It's really stupid that I didn't do this before. Let's see. Let me, let me first put an edge in here. Only one and another one in here, Alt C, now go to top view, and then I delete one half, so I have to do it only once. Let's hide this one before I delete it, H, top view, nope, better, delete, on height perspective again. Okay. Now let me uh, hit the X key and thicken this a bit. Now I can. Yeah, that's fine. W key to here, perspective, let's see what we can do, mm. I select 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, mm. And maybe one, two, three, four, no, five is enough. Two, four, five, and then let's bridge these together. Now I need to put in two edges here. Alt C, count of two. Not this big. Then I can bring up these two edges. And 
these two edges, <coughs> W key, bring them up a bit, and then I have, yeah, good, these two and these two, bridge them together. Ah, this does not work. This does not work because two are already together. So deselect, <coughs> bridge these two, get rid of all these polygons in here. Then I Hit the P key, do the same here, P key, go to sub D mode and let's see how this looks. That's not so bad. I can convert these triangles here by putting an edge in here, only one, so it's a quad. And it looks almost like the real thing. So, two edges in here. And, and an edge in here that's not bad okay so let's mirror this again duplicate mirror over the set, apply, good. How does it look? I need to make this base material a bit more transparent. 20% then look at the backdrop item and that's not so bad. Okay, Control S to save it. <coughs> 